more housing supply is on the way, right? Let's talk about Doug Ford's recent housing announcement. The Ontario government is bringing a new bill to the table called the More Homes Built Faster Act, with the intent being to help address the province's housing shortage by making it easier and cheaper to build. The government is, has a goal of building 1.5 million homes over the next 10 years. A major part of the announcement is that duplexes and triplexes could be built on single lots, overriding municipal zoning. Zoning bylaws are rules set up by municipalities that can dictate what types of properties are allowed to exist in certain areas. For example, Toronto currently has a residential detached zone that covers a large portion of the city, and as it currently stands, duplexes and triplexes and others aren't allowed to exist in that zone. So, neighborhoods full of single-family homes could have one in the middle of the street turned into a triplex, and complaints from neighbors won't be able to stop the conversion. Think about a street where there's a lot of large detached homes and nearly 100% of which are occupied by a single family. One day, one of those homeowners decides that they're going to convert their large home into a triplex. It wouldn't take too long before that construction project got shut down. Now, some of you might be saying, wait a minute, my neighborhood already has a mix of some single family homes and some places that are uh, split into multiple units. So what exactly is changing? Other neighborhoods may have had a number of properties split into multiple units well before zoning became something that was terribly enforced. And so while a triplex may technically not be allowed in a particular area, there are so many of them that have been there for so long that no municipality would likely enforce the zoning bylaws because of how much housing would be taken away. Remember, we're in a housing crisis. So in theory, removing zoning bylaws and allowing multi-unit properties to be converted and developed pretty much anywhere should boost the housing stock over time. But so far, nothing has really been said about building code requirements, and it's a safe assumption nothing is going to be changing on that front for the time being. Building code requirements can make converting some properties into multiple units quite cost prohibitive. Basement height is a prime example. If a basement is too short, then it can't be converted into an apartment unless the owner digs down, making the basement taller, therefore meeting code. A part of this new bill that will make housing development cheaper is projects being free from development charges. For duplex and triplex conversions, you're looking at anywhere from $36,000 to $78,000. But, no financial aid from the province has been announced, so I'm not sure how municipalities will recoup lost revenue from development charges being waived. Maybe by increased property taxes, but that takes time since property taxes aren't assessed every year. So while I do believe this bill generally is a good thing and will play a role in easing the housing crisis, I'm skeptical that its acceptance will result in a huge increase in housing supply. I'm Jamie Harnish, Toronto Real Estate Navigator with Bosley Real Estate. I want to thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you watching. If you're catching this on YouTube, if you could like this video to help the algorithms, help other people see it. If you could subscribe to my channel so that you don't make sure that you miss any upcoming episodes.